what's up everyone welcome back to another episode of Nemesis and happy anniversary Resident Evil 25 years thanks for being in all of our lives for all this time it's been amazing and I know all of us have our favorite characters our favorite you know games of the series whichever one favorite movies cartoon live action whatever like all of us have our favorite things so I'd love for you guys who are watching this to let me know down in the comments what's your favorite character in Resident Evil what's your favorite you know movie if you like the movies uh, what's your favorite game in the series uh, for me it's Chris Redfield is definitely my favorite uh, obviously um, but I'm also a big fan of Code Veronica which has Chris Redfield in it and uh and his sister claire that's my resident evil game by far that's my favorite resident evil game uh but i do like resident evil one and it's a very very close second resident evil one was the king it was the top of the mountain until code veronica came out and that kind of changed everything for me uh but i always see resident evil one two and code veronica as like a really great trilogy um, of characters because typically in trilogy rules uh, you'll bring back a villain in the third one or tie it to the villain of the first one um, you know somehow and that's kind of what Code Veronica does so three is a great Raccoon City trilogy although you have Resident Evil Zero now so that kind of makes it a quadrilogy um, and then you have Resident Evil 1, 2 and Code Veronica which I think is I call the the Redfield trilogy um, and those are my favorite of the franchise. So I would say Code Veronica number one, Resident Evil 1 is second, and Resident Evil 2 is third. Those are my three favorite games. Uh, but of course, I have soft spots for some of the other games in the series, like Dead Aim. I love Bruce McGivern. And I've also uh, really have a soft spot for uh, Survivor, which is a terrible game, uh, but I like the character of Art Thompson, even though the game's a complete mess. <laughs> so uh, so let me know some of your stuff, some of your favorites down below. I'd love to hear it. And for this 25th anniversary, I just want to do this quick video and talk about the title of the new Resident Evil movie. Uh, Johannes Roberts, the director of the new movie, came out and did an interview, and we'll break down some of his stuff because he said some cool things in that interview, one of them being the fixed camera angles for some of the scenes when they shoot inside the Spencer Mansion. So I'll make a whole video on that, and that'll be coming up later this week. But for this one, they revealed the actual title of the movie. And it's, it's a bummer because I would love to just be super excited about everything Resident Evil in this video real quick about, you know, 25th anniversary. Uh, but I'm going to be a little critical here. Uh, we found out the title for this movie is called Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City. Uh, which I am not a fan of that title. I'll be honest with you. I'm not even a big fan of like uh, my other channel. I do Venom vlog and the new title for the new Venom movie is Venom Let There Be Carnage. And I'm not a big fan of that title too much either. Uh, so, uh, but it, it's kind of grown on me a kind of a little bit, but the movie keeps getting pushed back. So, <laughs> so it's like now it's starting to lose it a little bit again, but uh, you know, Venom's coming out September 17th and we have Resident Evil here. Welcome to Raccoon City coming out on September 3rd. So September is going to be a good month for me and my two channels. That's for sure. I'm going to be working overtime during the month of September. Uh, but uh, but we have the title, Welcome to Raccoon City. So I want to hear what you think. Now, you know me, I'm, I'm critical of it. I don't really like it that much. It's not a, I don't know, it seems like a goofy title. It almost seems like a title to a roller coaster and not something that's like a, a horror movie. Like it doesn't, it, you know, sometimes there are those like horror movies that say like, you know, Welcome to Funland or something. It's like those cheesy direct-to-video movies. So maybe it elicits those kind of thoughts to, in my head. But Welcome to Raccoon City, like I get it. It's it's takes place in Raccoon City. It's combining the stories of the first movie and the set or the first game and the second game, uh, which both take place in Raccoon City, obviously. And I get it, but I mean, make it, I don't know, make it Resident Evil just colon Raccoon City or Resident Evil. I thought Biohazard would have been a great title. Uh, it's just Resident Evil Biohazard. Um, but uh, but uh, who knows? I'm sure they, you know, threw a bunch of names at the proverbial dartboard. And this is, I guess, what they decided to come up with. Uh, but it seems really cheesy. I'm actually just not a fan of this title. But who cares what I think? It's just my opinion. Uh, they're, that's the title they picked. And that's the, the movie they're going to start marketing under that title. I wish, I hope it's not too late to change it, but it probably is. So I want to hear what you guys think. Now that you know what I think, what do you think about the new title for Resident Evil? Uh, you know, are you excited for it to be called Welcome to Raccoon City? Uh, you know, if you have some examples of what it might make you think of that's positive, let me know because I can only think of either negative. Like, I like roller coasters, but it, it's it's like, sounds cheesy, like for a movie, you know? And yeah, Resident Evil is kind of cheesy. It's like B-horror movie cheese, the first two games when they originally came out, but Johannes Roberts, who was directing this, had said his inspiration for this was or once he got the like he knew what tone he wanted to do after he saw Resident Evil 2 Remake come out. And so we'll make a video on that coming up soon, too. So if Resident Evil 2 Remake was his inspiration for the tone of this movie, 
it, Welcome to Raccoon City is not a title that fits that tone, in my opinion. Um, but maybe one of you guys feel differently, or maybe you feel the same, whatever it is, let me know down below, and we'll continue our conversation, as always, down there. And I will have some more Resident Evil content coming up. I have a couple days off work, so maybe we'll get back to playing Resident Evil 4, and we'll get back to talking about Resident Evil. And then in April, I'm going to try to play through Resident Evil 6. There's two campaigns I haven't played through yet that I haven't streamed. And I have two friends that I already reached out to, and they're going to play co-op with me on those. So those will probably be coming up sometime in April, maybe mid to late April, uh, most likely. So, uh, so yeah, and then maybe sometime in May or June, we'll finally play through Resident Evil 5 and record that for the channel as well. Uh, so those will be the last two. And then after that, you know, obviously we got Resident Evil 8 coming out in May. So I kind of want to keep the beginning of May uh, reserved for playing that game. But I'll try to at least get through the two Resident Evil 6 campaigns that we haven't finished yet. I'll try to get through those before Resident Evil 8 comes out. And then all the other ones, they should be on a playlist on this channel. So check them out if you want to see our Resident Evil playthroughs of the previous games in the franchise. Uh, not all of them, but most of the main ones, at least, for sure. So uh, so let me know again what you think. Welcome to Raccoon City. And also let me know down below your favorite Resident Evil characters, maybe your, your favorite number one and number two picks. And then also uh, your favorite game and number two pick in, that, in the game franchise. And if you like the Mila Jovovich movies and the Paul Anderson movies, like if you like those, let me know what your favorite of those are, too or the CGI movies, whatever it is, let me know down below. And uh, and thank you guys. Hopefully you're doing something really cool to celebrate Resident Evil and their 25th anniversary. And if you're doing something cool for that, let me know what that is down below too. And we'll just keep talking about Resident Evil in the comments. So thanks for watching the show as always. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And uh, we'll have more episodes coming up very soon. Thanks so much. See you in the future. Peace.